A local animal rescue is trying to stop people who are tragically dumping dogs and puppies in a field. The organization in Murfreesboro says the practice is more common than you may think. News 3's John Ross takes a closer look. Right Way Rescue, Director of Development Siri LeBaron says a couple of weeks ago, the organization received a dog and her puppies from a family who found them abandoned on their farm in southeast Missouri. Farmer was driving early in the morning from one field through his property and he saw it. He glanced over it right as her head came up and she was looking at so inches and seconds, right? Right Way took Virginia and her pups and placed them with a foster under their No Mom Left Behind program. They are in a wonderful maternal foster home up in uh, near our Morton Grove Adoption Center, so up in the Chicago area. They have a wonderful foster there. They're doing great. The program addresses a problem that may be more common than you think. It's very, very common for mamas and their babies to be dumped somewhere, for pregnant mamas to be dumped in the woods, in fields, literally on the side of the road. Pam Eaton fosters animals here at her home and has recently taken in another case similar to Virginia's. Meet Mocha and her babies. My property was named recently Pamelot. <laughs> this is where they come to get well and heal. She says fosters are an important lifeline for abandoned mothers and their pups. A lot of times if moms and babies have to stay in a shelter or animal control someplace, they get sick very quickly and, and we lose them. So having homes available to get those puppies out of animal controls or other humane societies, wherever they're at, is crucial for the survival of a lot of those puppies. LeBaron says while they're trying to save the animals, their program also helps to control overpopulation. Taking care of them is the most important part of preventing pet overpopulation uh, in the future. So you can't adopt your way out of the current situation with pet overpopulation. You have to spay and neuter. Reporting in DeSoto, John Ross, News 3. And LeBaron also tells us because of the pandemic, she's seen adoption applications jump from around 200 a week to 2,000 a week statewide. That also means they're able to rescue more animals.